So this Fluke 289 has an interesting problem. I, t I brought it out into the sun and I'm covering up this, but as soon as I take this off, you get a warning here. You cover it up. And that's a warning about the leads not being connected correctly. And so I'm going to take this apart and see if I can figure out what's going on. Once you remove all these screws, then you can open this up. Sometimes it's a bit sticky, but let's see, that's just the housing. And here, there's one screw here that I will remove and show you what comes next. All right, so I removed this screw. Luckily, these are all the same exact type of screw. So now you can remove this. And you're left with the circuit board. So once you get that off, then you've got one screw right here. It needs to be removed. And then you've got to take all four of the jack screws off, as well as the cable, the small little ribbon cable for the display. So let me take care of that, and I'll show you what comes next. Okay, so I've removed all of them. All of these screws have been the exact same up until these four screws are what came out of here. And then to remove the little ribbon cable, it really is just out of here to pull it gently straight up and it'll come out. There's no securing, it's just a pressure fit. And then you can lift this out and you're left with the circuit board here. The area that we're interested in is right in this area and I'll explain it next. Okay, so the way this thing works is that this circuit board fits in here in this orientation so these two holes are for the current sensing setup and so what it does is this is an infrared LED and it flashes at some high frequency I'm not sure what and then these are sensors that monitor that infrared LED signal on both the current sensors and so if it's blocked in the wrong configuration, you will get that error. I suspect that what was happening was that when I was covering this one up, it was blocking. You see these housings are clear. And so I was blocking it and it was... It was allowing a, a this weak sensor perhaps to sense the signal, but when I took it off in the bright infrared from the sun, perhaps overwhelmed this sensor. So previously what I found in three that I repaired before, that this LED had actually broken off of the circuit board and was floating around in the housing. I found it, I just re-soldered it, and that fixed those meters. In this case, I don't see anything visually wrong with this this system so all I'm going to try to do is maybe reflow this sensor just put a, a, a solder iron on the back here and just reflow reheat up that solder and then put it back together and I'm going to test it maybe maybe I'll get lucky maybe I have to replace this I'm not sure okay so I've put it back together just enough to get the battery pack on so I, there's four screws in this outer housing that I still would put on, but let's try here. When I first turn this on, it's going to tell me about time and date need to be reset. Uh, and I just canceled out of that. And so it's working currently. And if I switch over to amps, I get that, that lead. So let's take this outside and see if the sun still affects it. Okay, getting ready to head outside here. Let's see. 
shining it in the direct sun as I was doing before. Let me change the orientation. Yeah, it seems to seems to have fixed it. Um, very curious, very curious problem. But what I have noticed that those solder joints on that LED, as I showed you, are weak in these Fluke 289s. And now I have evidence that maybe the solder on those infrared sensors are broken too. Or at least not, not reliable, but it's not behaving the way it was before. Okay, I'll uh, follow up after I get this all repaired. Okay, so just so you know, this seems to work. Just when you first turn this on, it says to set the time and date, but I canceled out of it. And so now to find that, you have to go back into the menu. If you press setup and then go to display, you see the date and time is here. So that's where you set the date and time. So this was a weird situation, this meter that we had that one of my engineers sent back to me because he said the leads weren't connected right. When I've repaired them before, that LED was off of the circuit board. It's relatively easy to fix. This one was more curious and all I did is reflow the infrared sensor that was here. Two connections, I just heated them up for about two seconds till I saw the solder melt and then I stopped and I put it back together and that seems to have fixed this meter. So, Fluke 289 meter set incorrectly. Hopefully that gives you some help and you can fix yours. These are amazing meters, but they're relatively expensive to be having a broken LED scrap it. So, good luck.